not staking eggs. New Mexico-based actor and content creator Steven Bird was in the middle of recording a video for TikTok back in November of 2022 when something strange happened. Hey, yeah, there's an earthquake. The Roswell resident was feeling the effects of a magnitude 5.3 earthquake that hit just 160 miles southeast in Mintone, Texas. And while you may think seismic activity in New Mexico is a rarity, think again. We regularly see earthquakes of magnitude 1s or 2s, so people don't feel it. Dr. Irby Basu, manager of the Seismology Observatory at New Mexico Tech, says that there are dozens and dozens of fault lines here in the state. In fact, the Bureau of Geology and Mineral Resources says that there are more than 160 quaternary faults, or faults that have been seen on the surface of the Earth within the past 1.6 million years. Among the most prominent is the Rio Grande Rift, which runs from central Colorado all the way down to Chihuahua, Mexico. So the Rio Grande Rift, which is like a north-south trending rift, along which is the Rio Grande Valley. So that's a series of uh, what we call normal faults, which is ex slowly extending in the east-west direction. So we know a lot about these existing faults through several years of geologic mapping through the Bureau. The rift follows the eponymous river, which obviously played a crucial role in the development of the state. But according to Dr. Basu and research being conducted at New Mexico Tech, we are now seeing an increase in the amount of seismic activity. In the last uh, four or five years, we have seen rise in induced seismicity, which is earthquakes caused by human activity. Now, according to data from the Seismology Observatory, there have been more than 80 earthquakes in New Mexico, measuring above a 2.0 on the Richter scale between January 1st and May 31st of 2025 alone. Multiple academic studies have shown a direct link to hydraulic fracturing or fracking and an increase in earthquakes. Additionally, data from the U.S. Geological Survey found an increase in the number of quakes within a 100-mile radius of fracking sites throughout the southern half of the United States. That technique creates a lot of wastewater or salt water, which is re-injected back into the formations, shallow formations, and this injecting of water causes stress changes in existing faults, and that is kind of the main reasons of oil and gas, like earthquakes. It's no surprise then that the southeastern part of New Mexico is feeling far more seismic activity than other areas. 